Marshall Kaufman. He promotes boxing. He's bringing a card right here to the Claridge Hotel. Now, we're in the Holtzman Gallery. Burt Young from Rocky Fame has his works, and I can't think of a better place to do this interview than here. You have a card coming in Friday night. King's Promotions is your company. And before we talk about the card, welcome to Atlantic City. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Atlantic City is infamous for boxing. As of late, it has waned a little bit. You chose to come and promote a card here at the Claridge Hotel, which is absolutely luxury, and it's a global destination. What drove you to Atlantic City? Actually, what drove me to Atlantic City, I've always had an interest in doing something in Atlantic City. Uh, I remember myself coming down here for the Arturo Gotti fights. Uh, I had a young prospect that I used to train and manage uh, by the name of Kermit Cintron that we fought at Bally's, we fought at Convention Center. So I always loved the atmosphere of boxing in Atlantic City. So it's always been a desire of mine to come to Atlantic City and do my own shows. And so I actually took the step and here we are, looking forward to our first one come Friday, the 22nd. Where are you from? I'm from Reading, Pennsylvania. Do you promote boxing up there? Yes, I'm actually the busiest promoter on the East Coast. I'll bet you are. And now you're, you've included Atlantic City. Tell us about Friday night's card. Friday night's card uh, features a, a number of young prospects. Uh, Juan Dominguez being one of them from New York, uh, comes to us with a record of 18-0 with uh, 11 knockouts. Uh, also another young prospect named Gervonta Davis from Baltimore, Maryland, who has a huge following as well. Uh, he's 10-0 uh, with nine knockouts. He's the co-feature. A local kid from New Jersey uh, named John Magda, North New Jersey, that is. Um, he's uh, also on the card fighting an eight-rounder. Uh, then we have a couple other local guys, a kid named Keenan Smith out of Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia, as we all know, is a great fight town. And then a local hometown kid right here in Atlantic City by the name of Antoine Akins will be fighting as well. First time fighting back in the ring in a year. So he's very excited. And I'm looking forward to seeing a, a great crowd following them as well. Now, you mentioned Philadelphia, and the card that you have are up-and-coming fighters. And me being from Philadelphia, knowing we'd go to cards of this type, we would see these kids giving everything they got because they want to make it, they want to climb the ladder. I remember the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia. And, and is that what you have here? These are kids that want to get their name out there, they want to get known, and they will give everything. Are these scrappy fights? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> that's, and that's how, that's how I love it, you know. Uh, these are this is the platform for these young uh, prospects to make a name for themselves and to eventually land on TV because let's face it that's every young boxer's desire is to be on ESPN, Showtime, HBO, you know and, and but it all starts here. These this is the platform on where it takes off and so you'll see those scrappy fights taking place. Friday night, the 22nd, here at the Claridge Hotel in Atlantic City. Uh, come in a little early. Go to the 20s for dinner with an incredible view of Park Place and then attend the fight. The fight's in the ballroom. Yes, it's a, it's a unique ballroom. And actually, I remember years ago myself coming to watch a fight here. You know, I, I can't remember what year it was, but I remember walking across from Bally's, coming over here to see a fight. And there was a fight in the ballroom years ago. Uh, I couldn't tell you the year. I wish I could remember, but it was great. It was just a great atmosphere, uh, and it's the type of ballroom fights that if you're a boxing fan, and even if you're not a boxing fan, I think you'll fall in love with it that night. When I heard it was going to be in the theater and not the ballroom, I got excited. I actually got goosebumps. I mean, you're, everybody is really up close. You're not far from the action. And again, for me, it takes me back to these days at the club fights. Everybody's, look, I can't guarantee this, but when you get a nice uppercut or you get, you can get some sweat on you. And, and, and that's why people come to the fights. Am I right? No, most definitely. That's right. They want to be up close, <laughs> you know, and you're up close no matter where you're sitting at. So it's, it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's going to be a great night. I'm hoping that it also sets the stage for the Claridge uh, in their opening. They just had a grand opening last week. So I'm hoping that it really just sets the stage for uh, future boxing in Atlantic City to come back. And I've had so many people come up to me and say, wow, I'm glad you're doing a show in Atlantic City because 
they want they want boxing back in Atlantic City. You know, we just need to help hope that everybody in Atlantic City wants it back, meaning the casinos as well. And right now we're negotiating a deal for July 17th to bring Showtime to Atlantic City as well. So you're saying to me that you haven't even completed your first card yet, and you believe in this town enough that you're negotiating to bring Showtime for a second card? Most definitely. Most definitely. It doesn't get any more exciting than that. I'm Mark Berman from the Mark Berman Radio Show. Marshall Kaufman, I thank you on behalf of Atlantic City. I thank you on behalf of the Claridge Hotel and boxing fans everywhere that want what you are giving us here in Atlantic City. You're bringing back boxing to a boxing town. Thank you. And I thank you for spending a few minutes. Thank you very much. Friday night, May 22nd, here at the Claridge Hotel, Atlantic City. Don't miss it. An incredible night of boxing. Hey, be there.